So this is a very interesting haul, you guys. It's definitely not something you normally see. I got some things because they were on sale. I got some things for our trip, and I got some smaller sized items for lunches because I don't want to buy it in bulk too much before we go out of town. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. So, let me show you what I got from Walmart first. Starting over here, I picked up this My Cot travel bed, and I'm hoping that Lily will enjoy this. I'm not quite sure. It says it holds kids up to 75 pounds, so we're gonna give this a try when we're traveling. Hopefully she'll like it. I think I'll go ahead and open it today and see if she likes it right now, and then if she doesn't, I'll just go ahead and take it back. And then I have all of these Pioneer Woman goodies, and that's because they were on clearance. They were about $4 a piece. Some of them were $3 and some of them were $5, but I went ahead and got all that they had because right now we're using most of the utensils that we got for our wedding um, as gifts and they're like 12 years old so I definitely wanted to upgrade to these ones and since they were on sale I thought it was a good opportunity so we have the potato masher this is the flat whisk we got the turner um, the grater this is a long very long spoon great for like crock pots and stuff. And then we have the slotted um, spoon version. I did get some straws, these weren't on sale, but I like to stock up on these reusable straws. I also got the measuring spoons. These ones are the metal ones and they're so pretty with the butterflies and the flowers, so cute. I also got one wooden spoon and one of the wooden turner sort of spoon things. I got this jumbo turner, the slotted turner, just that one. And then I also got this nylon one, which is great for my nonstick um, skillet. And then I also got the ice cream scoop. Now I wish they'd had a regular whisk because I definitely would have purchased that, but they didn't, so maybe next time. Now don't mind the cookies, those are for later. But in this section I have all of our little travel goodies that I needed to pick up for our upcoming trip. Over here I have some contact solution, that's for me. I have some of the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, some body wash, shampoo and conditioner, hand lotion, Q-tips, some wrinkle releaser. I've never used this before, so hopefully it'll work really well, and some little travel tide. Now, I like to keep these things on hand. I don't have to purchase them every time we go out of town, but I definitely needed to stock up this time. Now back over here I picked up some Easy Mac and this is the Cars version. So it's a little Disney fun for us since we're going to Disney. I got a bag of cuties, some green grapes, a smaller bag of broccoli. I didn't want to get the big Costco one this time because I didn't think we would use it all before we went out of town. I got a small bag of carrots, <laughs> the same idea, and a small thing of the baby spinach. So just for the next couple of days. Oh yes, and I also got this little thing of cantaloupe. This is definitely going into some school lunches before we head out of town. And I wanted to buy a regular cantaloupe, but they didn't have them. So I just got this little thing. Um, they're already cut up for me. Back over here, I have several different kinds of bread. I have some of this Greek pita bread. This is the whole wheat version. I got some whole grain English muffins, some cinnamon bread. We've never had this one before, so hopefully the kids will like it. And I got some regular wheat sandwich bread. I also got a thing of mayo and a double pack of the cream cheese. Back over here, I got a box of Cheez-Its. Now, we don't normally buy these, but I was looking for a snack that was orange for some special lunches I'm working on. And then I got these guys, Lucky Charms. I pretty much only buy these once a year, and that is around St. Patrick's Day. Definitely for a special treat. Over here, I got some Activia drinkable yogurts. This is in the vanilla flavor. And I also got some of the regular yogurt cups as well, also in the vanilla flavor. Can you tell my kids they love the vanilla? Moving back over here, I got a few things for Griffin. I got him a new plate. This has three sections, and it also has one of those suction cups on the bottom, so he shouldn't be able to knock the whole thing onto the floor. And I also got him a new spoon and fork set. I got two of them, and I love these ones because there's Mickey on them. Oh yes, I got some bananas. I got a pretty Easter tablecloth. A lot of times these sell out at my Walmart, or at least they sell out in a particular pattern. So since I saw this one, I decided to get it today. 
I also got this really cute um, garland. I'll zoom in here so you can see, but it says Easter and there's bunnies and little carrots on there. I thought that was so cute. And for only $3.98, that's cheaper than Hobby Lobby. It's really cute. Over here, I have two St. Patrick's Day bows for the girls. These were $3. And then check out the Disney stuff. I got this little onesie for Griffin. This was like $4, super cheap. And then I got this really sweet dress for Lily. I think this was like $14. It's a little bit pricier, but it's really cute. And it's made of a really light material, so it'll be great when it's really hot. Oh yes, and of course I got the matching one for her big sister, Mackenzie. That'll be so cute for them to match while we're at Disneyland. I love it. Okay guys, now on to everything else. I ended up not going to Costco at all just because I didn't have the time. I was kind of in a hurry, but I went to a store called Winco and I also went to Target. So everything is kind of jumbled together. I'll just go through everything and show you. Back here I got a Hawaiian pizza because we are going to be going out of town and I wanted something really easy to make for the kids the night before we leave because we usually leave at like 3 a.m. So an easy um, dinner that's not hard to clean up is a good idea, I think. And I also got two boxes of the Chobani Greek yogurt tubes. This is in the strawberry flavor and this is the mixed berry. These are very much like go-gurts, but they have more protein and less sugar. So we're gonna go with that. I got a 12 pack of the applesauce pouches. These are perfect for on the go. I got a big thing of string cheese, some beef jerky, and then of course we have our foodles. We get these every time we go to Disney. The kids actually, I'll open one up and the kids will share them um, one day for lunch and the next day for lunch. And we're only gonna be taking about half a week's worth of snacks with us. And then we'll probably stop and go to Costco down there or we'll go to Walmart. Last time we went to Aldi. So yeah, we're not bringing everything for the entire week. I also got a teeny tiny milk just for their cereal. We're gonna have cereal in our hotel room one morning. And then I also got some hot cocoa mix. This is in the s'mores flavor. I've never tried this one before, but it looks good. How bad could it be? And I also got some to-go cups. Now it's gonna be really cold in Disneyland when we're there. And so I wanted to make sure to have some hot chocolate available. And I thought we could heat up the water in our hotel room, put it in a thermos, mix the hot cocoa in it and just bring the cups empty. And then once we're in the park, when it's like really chilly at night, we can give some to the kids and they can have their own cup and it'll save a lot of money. Over here I have a package of hot dog buns and a package of hot dogs as well. Sometimes when we get down at the park in the evening, we come back to the hotel, we need some kind of dinner, but we don't wanna go anywhere and we want something easy. So we're gonna bring these hot dogs, we can stick them in the microwave and call it good. I also tried to stock up on the fresh fruit this time. We have this bowl here. This one has mango, strawberries, and blueberries. And then this one has grapes. We have green grapes and red grapes. And it's about a dollar more to have it all washed and ready to go for you, but it's such a time saver. I also got a big package of raspberries. My daughter Lily loves raspberries and they look really good. And then I have these guys. Now I didn't actually buy these in the grocery store, but I did buy them on my way out of the grocery store. These are the Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookies, and it was just time for me to buy some. Tis the season, right? And these are definitely my favorite ones. I also picked up several Lara bars. We have the Mint Chip Brownie, the Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip. Oops, this one's upside down. This is the Coconut Cream Pie and the peanut butter cookie. So probably two for me, two for John, and it's a quick snack we can take to Disneyland with us. I also got a thing of half and half. This is for a recipe that I was hoping to make before we headed out of town, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. So it'll have to wait till we get back. I also got a package of these key lime yogurt covered pretzels. These are so, so good. They're sweet and tart and crunchy and salty, and everyone loves them. Now I also got these guys. This is the um, dark chocolate coconut bark thin, or bark thin, and this just seems really good to have on a long road trip. Yes, I will definitely be sharing this with the husband. Back over here we have the kids favorite. I try not to buy these too often because I kind of like them too, and I know they're not very good for you, but they're great when you're on vacation, quick and easy to add to lunches. I also got some coleslaw. Another thing of kefir, this is in the peach flavor. And then I got these guys. 
As I know they're not very good for me, but I really love the lime flavor. They're really good. I also picked up one of the twisted mango flavor just because I wanted to give that a try. I also got a box of snack bags. These are the little tiny ones, and so it's great for divvying up snacks. Now back over here I have a mountain of gloves. Target. These came from Target, and they're all on clearance right now. I'm expecting it to be pretty chilly in the mornings and the evenings at Disneyland, and it might even rain. So my kids tend to have cold hands. So I got lots of kid gloves and I also got a pair for myself. Over here I have a package of Kleenex. I really love these when I'm on the go because they have this little strap here with a snap. So I can actually hang this on my stroller and just leave it hanging there so when anyone needs a tissue, they can grab it quickly. Because the last thing you wanna do is have to go searching for a tissue when you really need one, right? I also got another little first aid kit. We used up just about everything in the last one and these are only about a dollar. And of course, I also got some new band-aids to go in there as well, and they're Mickey, of course. Now, these guys are not necessarily for our trip, but the girls definitely need tights um, to go under their dresses for Sunday, and these were all in clearance. So we got a black and white one for Lily and a black and white one for Mackenzie. Over here, I have some Jimmy Dean Delight frittatas. These will be coming with us on our trip. In our hotel room, we're gonna have a fridge and a freezer and a microwave. So yeah, that'll be a quick breakfast one of the mornings. Over here, we have our traditional Uncrustables. We get these every time we go to Disney. They're so easy to pack and the kids love them. And also for lunches, while we're in the park, we have a box of the Annie's chocolate chip cookies. They're like mini ones. And I got a box of the Cheddar Squares. So I'm gonna take these. I was really tempted to buy the individual bags, but they're a little bit more expensive. So instead I bought the big box, and I'm gonna put them in either these bags or, or I also have some of these reusable bags. So we'll just go ahead and divvy them up ourselves and save a little bit of money. Over here I got lots of orange juice. The kids love orange juice, but we don't buy it too often. And these are great because they're portable. And I also got two of these gluten-free burritos. I love these Annie's burritos. These are great to bring on the trip as well. Because like I said, sometimes when we get back to the hotel in the evening, we're hungry, but we don't necessarily want to go out because everyone's tired. So we got one for John and one for me. I also got lots of yogurt. We got the coconut one, the lemon one, and my favorite, or one of my favorites, the strawberry rhubarb. And lastly, over here, I picked up some more toothpaste for the kids, some flour tortillas, and some shout wipe and goes. I love to have these when we travel because my kids, they tend to spill. And I know if I have this, I can wipe it off and not have to worry too much about whatever they're wearing being ruined. Okay friends, that is everything in the haul today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.